Today we are going to learn how to create movie poster design in Photoshop. So let's get started. First create a new document. Set the width 2000 pixel and orientation will be portrait and height will be 3000 pixels. Here the resolution is 72 but to print it out we need a 300 resolution but I'm not going to do that because it's going to make our file a lot more heavier. It's just for learning purpose. So let's click on create. Now press D for default background and foreground colors and press Ctrl backspace to fill the white color. When you create a movie poster, it needs to highlight the theme of it. So today we are going to create a war kind of movie poster and I have already prepared some few images for it and also remove their background as well. If you want to download these images, all the link is mentioned in the description. Let's open this file and drag this helicopter to our main file. To remove the extra portion, apply the layer mask, scale it down and convert it into a smart object. Rename this layer as helicopter. Similarly, we will place other images as well. We are actually creating an environment of the war and these are some little props that we are going to use in the background like the helicopter and the missile and few images of soldiers. Rename them as image1, image2, image3. Now hide all the layers except the image2 layer and the background. Scale down the image2 layer. Let's create some shadow to add a sense of place of this image. Take the brush tool. Create a new layer and drag it right below the image2 layer. Now select soft round brush and click one time. Next take the move tool. While holding alt scale it down vertically and position it right below the knee part. Scale it more horizontally. Now while holding Alt, drag the shadow to create a duplicate copy. Scale it, position it, rotate it. Press 4 to set its opacity to 40%. Create another copy, position it for the left foot. Press 9 to set its opacity to 90%. Now while holding Ctrl, skew the shadow and adjust it according to the image. Next, take the eraser tool and remove the excess part from the outside. Shadows are looking good to me, while holding shift select all shadows and press ctrl or command 8 to merge them. Rename it as shadows. Next we will work on image 1 layer, unhide it, move it closer to the image 1, but the direction is looking awkward, let's flip it, press ctrl or command 2 to transform, right click, flip horizontal, position it again, press enter. I think we can remove some part from the bottom. So add a layer mask on it, take the brush tool, select the mask, paint black color inside the mask to hide the image, now reduce the hardness of the brush and click one time. It looks like the image is merging with the background. Now let's work on the image 3, unhide it but it's looking too dark. Let's brighten it up, go to image, adjustment, shadows, highlight, it will automatically reduce the shadows and highlight the image. Hit OK. Drag this image right below the image 1 layer. Position it. Scale it down. While holding shift select all layers and the shadows. Scale them and position it in the center. Now for the background I am going to use this image. And we don't want any vehicle in the mid. So to remove it first rasterize it. Right click rasterize the layer. Take the lasso tool and create a selection of the vehicle. Right click, fill, set the contents to content aware, hit ok. It will automatically get removed from the background. Right click, deselect and drag this layer right above the background layer. Rename it as background and delete the bottom layer. Let's now work on the props, unhide the missile layer, select it, zoom in, scale it down, position it and press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate layer. We are actually creating shadow for the missile. Right click, rasterize this layer. Press Ctrl or Command U for hue saturation options and set the lightness to minus 100. It will make this layer Z black. But you cannot see this because it's below the missile layer. Hit OK. While holding Ctrl, skew it down. To add more realism, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels. Hit OK and set its opacity to 30%. Rename it again as missile and bottom layer as shadow. 
Now unhide the tank layer, scale it down and position it to the right. Let's reduce the image tree size to make some room for the tank. Create a new layer right below the tank layer. We will create the shadow. Take the brush tool, click one time. While holding Alt, scale down vertically and scale up horizontally. Scale up vertically more, position it. Rename this layer as shadows. Next, unhide the helicopter layer. Scale it down and position it to the top right. You can see there's something missing in this composition, very basic. That is lightning. It means every image have different lightning. So to create a single lighting effect on all the images, select the top layer and add a detachment layer of color lookup. Set the 3D look file to crisp warm look. Now the lighting is looking much better. But we can make this composition more improvised by adding depth. So for that, select the missile file, add an adjustment layer of gradient, edit the gradient, choose the color light brown, and for the second color, choose color white. Increase the opacity. So this is a linear gradient. Hit OK twice and set its opacity to 40%. So this is a dusty layer that is creating the illusion of depth. It looks like the missile and the helicopter are far behind from the main image. Rename this layer as dust. Right now all the soldier layers are looking too cluttered. So we will create the same depth effect on them as well. But it will be a little different. Take the brush tool. Select the image to layer. Create a new layer right above it. Choose a fog brush. And if you want to use these brushes as well, the download link of these brushes is mentioned in the description. Reduce the brush size with left bracket. Click one time first, then second time on the top. Now select the soft brush tool, press E for eraser and remove the excess part. Increase the opacity to 100% and paint over it. Yeah. Drag this layer right below the image to layer and remove the extra part. Now select the image 1 layer and create a new layer right above it. Take the brush tool, choose the fog brush, click two times. Drag it below the image 1 layer. Choose the soft brush, press E for eraser and remove the extra part. With this technique you are able to differentiate the characters within the movie poster. I think the color is not matching with the theme. So select the layer 1, click on lock transparent pixels, choose the light sand color, hit OK and press all backspace to fill the color. Repeat the process for layer 2 as well. Select it, set the transparent pixel lock, all backspace to fill the color. Rename both layers as smoke. Let's add some text. Select the top layer, take the text tool and type army. Set the size to 500 points. Now change the font family to war is over. Now scale it up. Right click on type layer and open the blending options. Take on gradient overlay. Select it. Click on gradient to edit. Set the bottom color as red and top color will be yellow. So these colors represent the fire. That's why I'm using these two colors. Hit OK. Add drop shadow. Increase the size and set the opacity to 100%. Take on inner shadow. Set the blend mode to color dodge. Choose the color white. And set the opacity to 63%. Now take on stroke. Choose the color dark brown. Set the size to 10 pixel. Click on add button of drop shadow to add more shadows. But this time increase the size to 243 pixels. Hit OK. Now the title is matching with the composition as well. Add some more text on the top. But this time I'm going to use Montserrat font. Set the size to 50 points. Type in the text you want. While holding Alt, Press the right arrow key to increase the letter spacing. The text is not looking prominent because the background is light. So we need to darken the background. So select the color lookup layer. 
add a new layer right above it. Take the soft round brush tool, decrease its size with left bracket key and paint a straight line. Take the move tool, press 3 to set its opacity to 30%. The darkness is sufficient but the font is too thin. Select the font and change it to medium. Set its size to 40 point. Select the move tool and by pressing bottom arrow key, move it down. While holding ALT, drag the text layer to create a duplicate layer. Type in August 17th. It's actually my birthday. Make it bold. Scale it up. And while holding ALT, press the left arrow key to reduce the letter spacing. Scale up more. Select the top layer. Add an adjustment layer of gradient. Click on gradient to edit. Choose black and white. Hit OK. Set the style to radial. Click on reverse. Set the scale value to 180. Hit OK. And set its blend mode to soft light. Now press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Edit the gradient. Here we only want the black. So reduce the white color opacity to 0%. Hit OK. Also the scale value will be 100%. Hit OK. These two adjustment layers will give a dynamic look to our poster. I think we can add more darkness behind the title. So select the layer 1, create a new layer right above it. Take the fog brush tool, press T for default colors and click one time. Now take the eraser tool and remove the extra part. In the mid portion you can see because of the gradient fill. The smoke color is looking too white now, so reduce the gradient fill 1 opacity to 40%. Here I am going to use this flame image. Set the blend mode to screen. But we don't want that much flame, so add a layer mask on it. So take the soft round brush tool, choose the color black and paint over it. To get more control, let's reduce its opacity to 50% and paint again. Create another layer on the top to add more effect. But before that, I think we should reduce the smoke and add a color smoke on the image one. So select the image one layer, take the brush tool, create a new layer right above it, choose the smoke brush, increase its size, choose the color red, hit OK and click one time. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform, rotate it, position it on the right place. Let's darken it more. Press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. While holding Shift, select both layers and press Ctrl or Command D to merge them. Rename it as Smoke. Let's create a group. And if you want to add more effect of the spark, select the flame layer, duplicate it, flip it horizontally and paint over on the mask to reduce its effect where you want. Add some text in the bottom portion to make it more like a movie poster. If you learned something new, hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon for learning updates. Tell me your views in the comment section how was the tutorial. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.